Thousands of Central Floridians connected at Lake Eola this morning to celebrate the children and adults with special needs. And as West Shoes Liv Johnson reports, all of the celebrations started with one little boy and his family. It, it makes me smile and it's fun. It's a day that's been filled with celebration for 21 years in a row. Being here make me smile. It's, it's, it's just a lot of fun, so. The Make M Smile event is a day dedicated to celebrating people with special needs and disabilities. I enjoy being a special need because I like to hang out with my friends. It all started with a boy named Nathaniel Cook. He was born prematurely with multiple birth anomalies and passed away at four and a half years old. His parents, Marie and Tim, wrote a book about his story and created Nathaniel's Hope, an organization that celebrates people with special needs and educates and equips communities and churches to provide free respite care for families of children with special needs. We try and um, help families uh, in practical ways by providing free respite care, a parent stay out program called Buddy Break, where we partner with churches. To, we train people who know nothing about disability to care for kids for three hours to play with them so their caregivers can get a break. Mike DeMauro is one of many people who benefit from Nathaniel's hope. We are here. We are special. We try to be like everyone else in the world. I know we can't be, but we're all unique and we have different abilities and that's what makes us all special in the world. The Cook's next mission, building a community center. It's kind of a live, work, play community that we hope will be inspiring and inclusive. And uh, we've already purchased 171 acres of property to build residential, job training center, to have like little cafes, uh, uh, animal experience. Just another way to expand their reach, all inspired by their son. It's a reminder of the joy that he had in spite of all the pain and difficulty and hardship that he uh, encountered. But a little boy who never walked or talked or for this mouth and the impact that he's having on thousands of lives is pretty cool. In Orlando, I'm Liv Johnson, Washington News.